By whose power did Christ come forth from the grave? Why only could Deity declare, I am the resurrection and the life? When the voice of the mighty angel was heard at Christ's tomb, saying, Thy Father calls thee, the Savior came forth from the grave by the life that was in himself. Now was proved the truth of his words. I lay down my life that I might take it again. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. Now was fulfilled the prophecy he had spoken to the priests and rulers. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. John 10:17, 18, 2, 19. Over the writ sepulcher of Joseph, Christ had proclaimed in triumph, I am the resurrection and the life. These words could be spoken only by the deity. All created beings live by the will and power of God. They are dependent recipients of the life of God. From the highest seraph to the humblest animate being, all are replenished from the source of life. Only he who is one with God could say, I have the power to lay down my life, and I have the power to take it again. In his divinity, Christ possessed the power to break the bonds of death. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection, Paul writes to the Philippians in Philippians 3, 10. The resurrection of Jesus was the most awesome event of all time. With all our science and technology, we still have no clue how to bring life back from the dead. Anyone who has the power to raise the dead will, one will think, have the power to accomplish anything else the human race might need. Again, Paul writes, For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. First Thessalonians 4, 16-18